Welcome everyone. It is your Technique Thursday and this Thursday we're going to be, um, I'm trying to get my camera adjusted, sorry. I am going to show you how to mask an, um, an, a picture and be able to put something behind it so it looks like it's behind it and not overlapping, if that makes sense. And we're going to work with the Bottle of Happiness um, stamp set as well for the first card and then the second card we're going to be working with the zany zoo so let me go ahead and flip the camera around and we're going to go ahead and get started so now the bottle of happiness um oh got my camera all messed up i didn't get that part situated did i okay so uh the bottle of happiness has been around for some time and this has 13 photopolymer stamps and we're going to work with this bottle here as well as the uh, out, the outlining of that bottle as well okay and then from that we will move on and we're gonna do uh, let me show you the card I'm gonna get this on this block right here all right so let's go ahead and get started now the masking paper that you can use is uh, on page let me get my catalog out and I will show you the masking paper is on page uh, 151 of the catalog that's right down here at the bottom at seven dollars and you get 12 adhesive sheets that are five by seven so that gives you a lot to work with and then the other thing that we're going to also do and I think you've seen me do this before is we're going to use our powder uh, um, powder pal and that is what allows us to remove a little bit of the stickiness from our uh, masking tape Normally, we use this for when we're going to uh, heat, do heat embossing, but this works very well uh, when we are trying to put some, use a, the masking paper and it doesn't stick. So let me move this out of the way and let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start with a piece of uh, four by five and a, five and a quarter um, piece of basic white. And then all we're going to do, all right, so the first thing we want to do is take our uh, masking paper. And I'm going to stamp an image, and it doesn't have to be exact because we're just going to cut around it and use that as our mask. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this color, no big deal. And I'm going to stamp two of them just in case I need two. And a um, uh, cleansing pad here and wipe this off. Have done and then all you want to do with this in this particular case is we're going to cut around these images and just trim them out and you want to get as close to that line as you can and i'll show you why and if you've done this before why don't you uh, let me know in the comments if you've used masking and before we had masking uh, paper you used to use a post-it notes so i'm going to come around and just get as close to the bottle I do want to have a little bit of an edge or I want to get it close because we don't want our coloring to go outside of the bottle and I think that's I think that's good right there and this one will, if we need it will color it and I've already got blue on my finger because I didn't let it dry so we're going to peel off this paper on the back and it does have a strip down in the center of the paper if you don't get to that part then you're just going to have to bend it a couple of ways and then eventually you'll be able to uh, get to the peel and then just peel it off so just um, it'll take just a minute and there we go so we're going to get that peeled if I can get to it okay all right so here is the piece right here that is sticky so this little piece right here we're going to throw it away and then I'm going to bring in the powder pail and we're going to take our embossing buddy and we're just going to pop a little bit of dust in here and put him back in his envelope, a little envelope that he goes in. And then I'm just gonna lay this down in here. So just take some of that stickiness off. That way when we get ready to use it, it's not gonna tear up our paper. All right, so the first thing that I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and stamp uh, my bottle. So we're gonna start with, I'm gonna flip this over. So we're gonna start with, um, uh, let's start with our, start with our green and this is lemon lime twist so we're going to go ahead and take our bottled stamp and we're going to ink it up and I'm just going to create a couple of bottles and you can see the picture here 
All right, so you know I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with this one, and then we're we're gonna work our ways out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and stamp towards the bottom. I'm gonna put him right about there, and I like to let it sit for just a minute so that it makes sure it gets all the ink transferred, and then I'm gonna come in with the outline of the stamp of the bottle, I should say, and. You want to line this up with the edge of your bottle and the bottom is going to go down just a little bit so you want to get the top lined up and the edges lined up and then I think we should be good we just push down on that and you can see where it gives it a little bit of a outline okay all right so the next thing we're going to do now is we want to come in and we're not going to use yellow I think I'll use um, <laughs> let's go with the berry burst so now we want to cover our mask because this is the item I want in the front. So whatever item you want in the front, you want to cover that so everything else goes behind it, okay? So we're going to cover this and then I'm going to uh, change my ink color. So let me clean this off real quick and then we'll come in with our berry burst and we're going to uh, ink this up and then we're going to stamp this. Now I just want it slightly behind here and I want to make sure I get my paint, my ink covered. All right, so you see that. And then we're going to come in. I'm just going to lightly go on the one side. And I'm going to put this a little bit up just a tad. And then we'll push down on that. All right, so now when I pull this up, it looks like it's going behind. Okay, now I'm going to leave this down for just a minute, even though it's not going to show, except for on the bottom. I want to do the side of my bottle just like I did the other one. So I'm going to put my, and this part will not show other than on the bottom and the side. So I'm going to line this up and I'll stamp that. All right, but you see how it, it did the bottom of the bottle. All right, so that's those two that we're going to do. And then we're going to do our blue. We'll go ahead and move him. I'm just going to set him off to the side. He's not going to be behind anybody. So we'll just use the um, Azua Afternoon, I think is how you say it. I could be wrong. So let's get that done. And let me clean off the other part of my stamp. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and use a little bit of this. I'm not gonna put a lot of ink on it because it's really juicy. And then this one, we're just gonna set him a little bit off to the side. So we're just gonna push him down. All right, so now we've got all our bottles. And then let's come back in with the same color and do our outline. And I wanna make sure I'm right on the edge, so we'll push that down. All right, so we've got our outline. Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in with our orange, and then that one is gonna go behind the um, lemon lime twist color. So we're gonna use our mask again. So now we're gonna co cover this one up, right? We want this one color covered because we're gonna pull the orange in and it's gonna go behind him. And I think I want to cover this one. This is really wet too. So let me um, put that in the thing. I'm gonna trim this one real quick. Just, just to be on the safe side, I don't want, and this is kind of wet from the ink, but don't worry about it. Um, I want the orange, I don't want the bottle to get on the um, berry burst. So we're gonna cover that one up just to be on the safe side. So if you're not sure, it doesn't hurt to cover the item and then that way you know you're good. All right, so let's go ahead and peel this guy apart, and that way we'll put two masks down. So this is a fun thing. Now, if you want something to be in the background and you don't want it to be seen in the front, you know, it's, you just mask accordingly. So let me move this into the trash can. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and cover this up too just to be on the safe side, and the reason that is in case I come through here, which I probably will with the orange, okay? So let's go ahead and bring in our stamp and we're going to ink this one up. All right, and then I want him, uh, let's see, we're going to have him there. Let's have him up a little bit higher. So let's push right about here. All right, so we've got him on there. Now we're going to do the same thing with our edge of our bottle. So we want to line this up as well and push that down. All right, so we've got that done. Let's close up our ink pads before we get ink. Well, let's leave these out because, well, not that one. Okay, so let's pull off our mask. 
So now do you see how it's gone behind? Now, uh, just from experience, you can see a little bit of this white right there. So I should have pulled my mask down just on the inside edge of my green bottle. But honestly, I don't think anybody's gonna notice that. All right, so we're just gonna continue on. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to stamp our sentiment. And this is from the, um, the Best Day. And this is a retired set, but we're gonna use it anyways because I like the wish in it. And it says, let me use uh, this block right here. Oops. It's your birthday because it's, your, it's the best day because it's your birthday. So we're gonna go ahead and come in with our black ink and I'm gonna ink up that sentiment. And I'm gonna stamp that right about here. All right, it's a little crooked, but you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm sitting down, that's part of the problem, but that's okay, it's not a big deal. All right, so let's clean that off. And then we're going to bring in our little uh, confetti stamp from the stamp, uh, from the stamp set, The Best Day. And I am going to stamp a couple of these colors that we used just to kind of make it, oopsie, kind of make it look colorful. And let's get some berry burst in here. We'll just do a couple of each, all right? So we're just gonna come in here with our blue and we'll turn the little um, thing around and I, I'm just gonna stamp off on that one. And then we're gonna change colors and we'll come in with some of the uh, lemon lime twist and then we'll do like that. And again, this is just to kind of make it look festive and then let's come in with some berry burst and uh, let's put some right there. All right, and that's it. That's all we need to do for that card. So now we're gonna put everything together. And I've taken a piece of uh, designer paper from the Bright and Birthday uh, set. I think it is, hang on. Yeah, Bright and Beautiful. So we're gonna take that and I'm gonna cut it down to, let me get my paper trimmer here. I'm gonna cut my paper down and I'm using the one that has all the stars and all this beautiful color. So I'm gonna cut this down to four inches by uh, five and a quarter. Let me get that up there. So this is four. All right, so there's four. And then you can keep this strip and use that for something else. And then we're gonna make this five and a quarter. And I'm gonna use this on the inside of my card. All right, so we'll uh, bring in, and then I'm using the um, Misty Moonlight. Let's go ahead and score. This is five and a half by eight and a half. So we're gonna put this at five and a half, eight and a half, and then we're gonna score it at four and a quarter. So we're gonna bring it down and score it in the middle of the card. And then of course we wanna fold it, use our bone folder, and get a good crease. And we're gonna add this, so let's get our adhesive. Oops. All right, so we're gonna glue this down and have our birthday card will be ready in just a moment. And it's really easy. Once you start doing the um, masking uh, technique, you'll find that you're gonna start using it for all sorts of different things. And then we're gonna add this down here. Actually, I need to cut this down because I left it at four and a quarter, I mean four. So let's cut this down to, let's do it on this side. I don't have any. Let's mark this, get this down to uh, four. We're gonna do, we'll do three and three quarters. Well, we'll do it three, yeah, let's do three and three quarters. I think we'll be good with that. Let's see, are we close? Three and three quarters. And we'll take some off the bottom. We're gonna make this at five. I think we're good there, okay. All right, so three and three quarters by five. And we'll go ahead and add this to the front of our card. Okay, and then we'll attach that to the front. And we got some color right behind it. And you can pop this up on dimensionals if you'd like. And then for the inside, I'm gonna go ahead and add this strip right here since it's cut off and it matches the uh, size of our card. So this is four inches. And we'll just add this to the bottom. And then you can stamp your sentiment or you can um, write, just leave it empty so that you can write your message to the birthday recipient. All right, so we're gonna put that right there. 
and then we'll add that to the inside of the card. So let me open that up and get that in there. All right, and then that is the first card of showing you how to do some masking. The masking technique with one behind the other. Get that over some. All right, so whoops, that's crooked, isn't it? Hang on. Let's get this up. All right, let's do that one more time. Let's get that in here. All right, whoops. I'm sitting down and sometimes it doesn't, I'm too close to, there we go. All right, so there's the inside. All right, so there's that card. Isn't that pretty? So you're able to make it look like the bottles are all together. This guy's sitting out because he's special. And then just add your little piece of paper on the bottom to give it some extra uh, pizzazz. All right, so that's the first card. All right, we're now going to move on to our second card, and I am using the Zany Zoo, and I was trying to do the dancing bears to show you how we can mask the bears that are behind the front dancers on our stage, and then I placed a little piece of um, wood-looking designer paper to make it look like the floor. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this one. I think on the next version, instead of having the bears right behind them, I think I'm gonna move one off to the side and then one off towards the center um, and stagger them that way and see how that works, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm bringing in my four, and a quarter, a four by five and a quarter piece of Whisper White. Uh, these are my um, tape. What I did was stamp the images on the paper and then I fussy cut them out and now I just have to peel those off. But in the meantime, I want to go ahead and get my stage set up so I know exactly how much room I have to work with as far as um, our stage settings. So I'm going to place this here. This is the top of the, the curtains. And what I want to do is I'm gonna measure roughly how big this is so I know where to put my curtains. So technically, um, I've got about three quarters of an inch to get my curtains, but I wanna make sure that my curtains are covered. So I think I'm gonna push this down to about an inch and push this down to about an inch as well. And let's see if that works when I go to cover them up. I think that will. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and add some adhesive to this and then I'm going, I'm going to cut this down. I'm thinking, since that looks like it's gonna work, I'm gonna go ahead and glue down my curtains and I have them set up to where this half an inch should be right at this line. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. So that will tell me where I need to line up my paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my adhesive and I'm just gonna put this, um, Curtains have, you know, they look like curtains. They got little lines between them to make them look like they're, um, they're, you know, they've got drapes, if you will. They're drapes. So I'm just adding adhesive in between where those little cuts are. And that gives it the effect that they're actually curtains. So we're going to lay this right on the edge of our paper. Make sure we cover up that white. And I'm going to place that right there. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. This is such a cute set. I know that when this came out, everybody was going completely nuts so crazy with it. So if you don't have this set, I would highly encourage you to get it because it really is. You know, if you've got, um, and it doesn't have to be young kids, it can be adults. Everybody likes to be a child at, at times, right? At least I know I do. So everybody likes to be a kid. You know, it, they make great cards and I think they, those cards can be made for any age. All right, so we're gonna put our bears, they're gonna be dancers. So anybody that's a ballet dancer, this is gonna love this card. So now I'm gonna line this up here and get this to right at the top and it's gonna cover right at the top of my um, curtain. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trim this down, but I'm gonna put it on here first and then I'll trim it, but I'm just gonna put a little mark right there so I know I don't need to go any further than uh, that for my glue whoopsie now that's coming out kind of fast all right so we're gonna i'm gonna stop right about here and i think that should probably be enough glue actually i got all this in here i can move it okay so let's um bring this up and then we're going to set that on top of our 
stage and get the curtains uh, in order. All right, so I'm gonna lay that there and I'm gonna lift this up so that I can make sure that it is level. And then I'm going to trim. I wanna make sure all my white is covered and it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over and trim off this piece right here. All right, so there is our stage. Now, I, after I cut these curtains out, I realized I didn't have to do black curtains. I could have done any color curtains and I didn't think about it. But since I already cut them, that's what we're gonna go with. So let me go ahead and get these peeled and ready to go. So again, since we're using our masking paper, I just need to twist it a couple of times to get the edge to start to peel. And then once I get a hold of it, there we go, then we can peel that down. So I just wanna get it started that way I know I am good after I stamp my first bears to see where we're gonna go. So I'm gonna leave that one there and we'll do the same thing with this one. So again, you wanna stamp it with whatever ink, let it dry on the paper and then flip this back and forth until you get a piece of it and then you can pull this off. All right, so we're gonna leave those two right like that. All right, so we're gonna take our Memento Black ink and we're gonna stamp two of the bears and we're gonna have them dancing. If I find my uh, bear stamp, what did I do with it? Oh, here it is, it's in my cleaner. <laughs> All right, so I think what I'm going to do, I wanna do my bottom ones first, right? So I'm gonna have them, I think I'm gonna have this one over here, and I'm gonna have it down a little bit like they're at the front of the stage. And then I'm gonna put the other one a little bit this way so my thoughts are, I'm gonna to try to put one over here in this section and then maybe one over towards the center. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover and I'm gonna give it just a minute for the black ink to dry. And it should be, just wait a bit. I just wanna make sure, cause I don't wanna smear it. Okay, so I'm gonna cover this little bear right here. I don't, I'm not worried about the bottom. I'm more concerned with the head and the arms that are up top okay but i'm just going to cover her whole her whole uh body now what i want to make sure and as you can see i'm over her head so i need to bring this down and again we should be using our uh embossing buddy like i mentioned earlier i'm just going to lightly tap it into the container as i don't want to put too much embossing buddy on it where it doesn't want to hold okay so I'm just gonna lightly tap just a little bit in here all right so I'm gonna hold the card up so that I can see I want this to go right below her head just a little bit just below the lines to make sure that I get the other person the other bear on here is going to be covered properly and then I'm gonna do the same thing with this one so I'm off camera I'm just gonna lay this down and pull it back up we're gonna cover this guy and then once we get these um, stamped, then we'll go ahead and do some coloring. And this one, again, I wanna pull her up and just bring her in just slightly below the line of her head and ear. All right, and I think that will, will work right about there. I'm gonna turn it this way because so I can see I don't wanna put my head in the camera. All right, so I think we're gonna do it just about like that. Perfect, okay. All right, whoops, I got a little too much there. Might be, um, hang on. Come on, baby. Let me move this one up just a little bit. I don't want his um, head or legs sticking in her face. So we're gonna just make a little smidge, get her ear up there, and I just slightly a little less than where the line is. Okay, I think that would be good. All right, so now I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna ink my bear up again. And I'm thinking, I wouldn't mind having one right here. So maybe to her side, but I don't wanna get her on the um, curtain. So I am going to place her right about here. Keep our fingers crossed. Okay, well she's behind the curtain, but that's okay. She does, She's learning, she doesn't know where she's at. And then this one, I think we're gonna put her right about here. So I've got everybody covered so I can stamp, and we're gonna put her right in the center, okay? Now that looks like a mess, doesn't it? All right, now we're gonna start coloring. So we'll go ahead and take the mask off, 
and we want to gently lift it all right and then we want to gently lift this one as well probably better to grab it down on the feet if I can get to it hang on there we go all right so we're going to gently lift this off okay now we'll start coloring now I could have colored these first but we're going to go ahead and do it all at one time Okay, so I'm using my uh, uh, Smoky Slate Light. Uh, that's going to be for their ballet slippers. Uh, flamingo, I'm doing the Flamingo uh, Pink uh, Flirty Flamingo Dark because I want her skirts to um, kind of stand out a little bit. And then I'm using the uh, Numbers Medium 500. I'm using Petal Pink for some blending on the front and then um, the 700 and 800 of our um, skin tone colors all right so I'm just going to start blending and coloring and we'll go from there and also I'm using the smoky slate for their noses so I'm just going to come in and however you want to color I don't know if I'm right or wrong but I'm gonna make this part right here a little bit lighter so they're not quite so brown and then I'm going to come along the outside and do a little bit um, slightly darker shade and then um, then we'll color them uh, brown so I'm using this is the uh, this is petal pink so did that one now I'm going to start with my uh, let's see this is the 800 700 and my 500 so that's the darker my 800 should be the lighter one or this is the 700 I'm sorry this is 700 yeah 800 so I'm gonna start with 700 and I'm going to just come in right along this side and I just want to give her a little bit of shading right here just before we put the dark brown on her and then I'm going to I'm gonna come back with my petal because I meant to do got to do her body so what I'm gonna do is kind of make like a V so it looks like she's got a little lighting right here based on how the lights are shining on her. And I'll do that on all f um, four of the, the little bears, okay? So we're just gonna kinda do like that. Then we'll come in with this color and I'm just gonna do a small, uh, small little blending there, okay? And we're gonna do that on each one of these. And I don't wanna make it too dark. I just want it to hopefully show um, that there's some shading going on and then when I bring in the other color we'll blend and all right so we'll do that okay and we'll color uh, cover this one up oh I need to get my other for the flowers give me one second I forgot to get my uh, I think I'm gonna do lemon lime twist let me see if this is the one lemon lime and that's parakeet party hang on that lemon lime oh there we go do lemon lime just for something fun okay sorry about that all right now we're going to go ahead and um start with our next color all right so that was 700 so now we're going to come in with our um our 800 so this would have been 700 this is 800 right we need to come down on her legs so we need to do the legs a little bit excuse me and i'm going to make the um lighter shade um, let me think about how I want to do this. Probably just a little bit on the inside. Whoops, that's her shoe. Didn't mean to do a shoe. Don't color her shoe. <laughs> we'll color that up. Cover that up. I think uh, when I get to the darker color, you're not going to be able to see it. So now you can't see those, which is fine. Now we're going to come in with this one, which is 500. And I'm thinking, I think this color will be fine. So I'm going to come in and just start coloring the bears and I'm going to come in I'm going to make the dots on their bodies a little bit um, darker and I'm hoping I can blend these and I think what I'll do is come back in with the color lifter and lighten up a little bit of these colors. All right so I'm going to put my dark I'm just going to make a hold my point the nub part on to make those look a little bit darker all right so i'm just going to bring in and start coloring and i'll come back and do the dots and i just want to blend this in with the colors that we've started with go around my flower 
and then I'm just going to come around and might leave a little bit of white so she's got some like light shining on her and again I'm just going to hold my pen the nub part down to make the dots look a little bigger I mean darker and I could come in with a, a darker marker but I think this will be fine okay and then we're going to come down to her leg a little bit we can see of it and I'm just lightly uh, brushing along put some more dots right there all right and then we've got this one here and we want to bring this one up and around all right so again we're going to make the dots darker Okay, and then we're going to come over here and do this side. And this is a little tedious because it's a very small area, so just, <clears throat> excuse me, bear with me. Um, not that y'all, <clears throat> pardon me, need to see me coloring, but everybody does it different, so that's what we're doing. All right, and then I'm going to come in here and again do her face. And try to leave a little open white place spaces every now and then. So she's not completely covered dark and we'll come down so we do her legs right above her shoe and right there okay and then we'll do the same thing with this one and I'm gonna color her belly shoes um, so they look like they're black be a dark gray all right so let's get those in there and cover these dots sometimes if you just hold that marker down for a second it will start to make uh, it will get those darker and you can see the ink starting to disperse through it so you just hold it and if you want them darker just go back I'm just gonna do them all while I'm doing it right here all right, and then we've got a couple right here, and they may not quite stand out as much, but we want to at least give it that opportunity. Okay, so we're going to come back with this, and again, I'm going to leave a little bit of white around, hopefully leave some little gaps. And then we've got this one so we've got her little leg right here and that's her shoe so we don't want to mess with that so let's go ahead and make our dots here okay and then we'll come back in here and do a little bit of blending as well These are little tiny arms that these little bears have. And then we'll get her face done. All right, so we left a little bit of lighting. Let me go here and get that one done. And the ear, let's go ahead and probably is right there. We'll get that covered there, or that looks better. Okay, now let's um let me come back with let's see this is the seven yeah this is the color this one i'm not mistaken yeah i'm gonna um i don't want that to be so stark there and it looks that way doesn't it all right let me bring this one in i'm gonna bring this one in and blend it i think that looks a little too i'm gonna bring blend those two together Okay, you see the line, I don't like that line there. So let's just do a little bit of blending here in the face as well. Not that we want it dark, but we just want it to kind of blend. Okay, see this one, I've got it too dark now. That's not good. All right, but that's fine. 
Okay, so we've got that. Now we're going to color her shoes. And, uh, whoopsie, let me get the little small one out here because this, um, her little, their little feet sees in their little shoes. I guess I should probably, are the shoes, I guess they cover the feet, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and make the whole shoe gray. I think that'd probably be better. And that's the little tie, so we'll leave those out because that's just the strings that are tying the shoes. And so we're gonna make those. They're on their, they're doing the pointy dance, so they're standing on their toes, doing the ballerina thing. And then we need to come over here because we got this shoe, right? And then this one right here is behind her skirt, but we can still see her foot. All right, so there's that. And let's go ahead and color their noses to make them a little bit darker so we don't see those white lines between it. I think this looks better. All right, so we got that. Now let's paint, uh, paint. Let's color their skirts and let's do, let's use the light and dark uh, petal, uh, flirty flamingo, sorry. And I think what I'll do is I'll make her, um, I think I'll make her skirt light and then we'll use the dark to come in and accent. So I'm gonna make her belt, I might come back and make her belt dark. <clears throat> I think I will make it a dark one instead of the light because I think it will give it more accent. So let's do that. Let's go in and make the dark, the belt dark. That's gonna be her thing. And we're gonna come in and make some emphasis to those pleats, if you will, and that should help. And we're gonna just make that darker. And then we'll do the same thing to this one. And again, we'll just add some little things there make that one darker. I think that would make it look much nicer. Okay, and then we'll come back and color the flowers. All right, now we're going to use our light um, flamingo, and we're just going to come along, and I'm using the, the big tip, and I'm just going to leave a little bit of white uh, showing through so it will not look like it's completely colored. I'll just leave some lighting in there. All right, I like that, how that looks with the Looks like she's got a little white slip on underneath. So we'll just do that. And then we'll do this one. All right, and probably need to do a little pink right here because her skirt is behind him, see, or behind her. So we want to, right here, see between her arm and we wanna make sure we fill that gap in and we probably need to do the same thing here because you know her skirt's gonna be right on that side because there's her flower. So we're gonna fill that in right there as well. And I do like how that looks with the uh, light. So let's come back and add a little bit more emphasis on these um, things here. I think that will look nice. Oh, that's the stem, but that's all right. I'm gonna accent that too. And then we'll come back and do a little quick blend, all right? And I think that will make it look really pretty. So let's just do a quick wash over with that. This is the light, yeah. And then we'll just do the same thing. Just kind of blend it in. And we'll leave the, there we go. All right, and let's bring this one all the way up to his arm because that's where her skirt is. All right, so there's our bears. And then all we need to do is come in now with our light lemon lime twist and I am going to make the flowers the light, and then we'll make the center part, part uh, petal we'll do with the dark for the center. So we're just gonna color these lemon lime, just because we can. And we're just gonna color that all around because that's sticking out from behind that little bear's head. And we want that to go. All right, and then we'll come back in with the dark and we'll just make the inside the inside part darker. And we'll put that right there. So we'll just hold it down for just a second or two. And then we'll do one right there. You can barely see it. All right, so there's our dancing bears. I think that one looks much better than the other one. The other one looks like they're standing on each other's heads. <laughs> okay, so we've got that. Now let's put our floor down. So I'm just gonna place this right about here. Oops, I forgot to do her toe, look at that. I missed her little toe right there. So we need to do her little toe. 
color these in. Let's make these a little bit darker. I'm just going to come back with another swipe of the Smoky Slate Light. I guess you could have had pink ballet shoes, huh? That's all right. We're going to make them black. Okay, so there's their black. All right, so let's take and um, add some adhesive to this strip. And this is um, a piece of the uh, textured, uh, earthen textured designer paper. So I'm just going to put uh, some adhesive on this. And that should hopefully be enough. We'll, have to, we'll trim this down. So let's go ahead and lay this right about. Yeah, we got plenty. So we're going to lay this right here on the edge and of the card. And that's the flooring. So that really adds to it. That way it doesn't look like they're like dancing in the air, right? So let's push that over. And then we're going to trim this off. And pop that right there. All right, and let me get that other piece right here. Okay, there we go. Whoops, got, everything stuck to me. All right, I think I like that. I do like that much better. All right, so we're gonna use uh, Flirty Flamingos. Let's go ahead and um, fold our cardstock in half. This is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And we'll take our bone folder and get that. Uh, bear with me one second, I'm moving stuff out of my way. All right, making noise too. So we're going to give that a good crease, my ruler, and we'll come back and do a good crease right there. Okie doke. And then we're going to add this, and I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals just because I feel like it. All right, so let me move this out of the way and grab my dimensionals. That should be in here. Whoops. All right, well, here's a piece right here that I've cut off that I've been waiting to use. We'll put that right there in the corner. And all right, so we've got some big pieces here. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put six. I'm going to put two and two. Oops, or I might put three because it's a little bit larger. So let's do, yeah, let's do three. So we'll put um, three along the sides and then three in the middle. Okay. And again, I'm using up my side pieces because you don't want to waste. These are good just because they're edgy. No one's going to see them. And let's see, one, two, three. We'll put uh, one in the center, and we'll put one down here at the bottom. And then we need to put, um, I like to put like two in the middle to um, just keep it supported. And we'll cut that one off so we can put one here. And there's no rhyme or wrong, uh, right, or right, right or wrong area. I'm just sticking them in there. All right, so let's get that. Put this in our trash can. And we'll be done with this card, and then we'll be able to show you the cards that we have done. Hang on a minute. Get my fingers in here. Y'all do that when you pull off the paper to make sure you've got them. Which ones have I not done yet? Of course, when you're talking, you, I do. I get, I stop. Okay, I think we're good. All right, so we're going to put our little bears on here. Make sure we got our stage going in the right direction. So we'll set that right about here. And I should have a border about the same on each side. There we go. There is our stage and our bears are dancing. And then you can add a sentiment. I'll add one later and then I'll also put a piece on the inside. I may put a little dancing bear on the inside corner. And um, let's see, and we'll have to color that, but I'm not gonna do that now because I don't wanna hold y'all up any longer. So I will go ahead and put a little bear on the inside and we'll just put her at an angle and then I'll color her um, off camera. All right, so let me pull in the cards that we've done. So we have the dancing bear and I'll put this one on the inside. And then we have our birthday card that we did with our bottle of happiness. So there are our two cards that we created using the masking technique. I hope you all have enjoyed this. And um, if you have any questions or anything, reach out to me. I do have internet. Uh, might take me a little bit to get back to you. But um, thank you again for spending time with me on this Thursday for Technique Thursday. I greatly appreciate it. And make sure that you share if you're watching on Facebook, make sure that you like and share my uh, video. If you're on YouTube, please make sure that you 
um, subscribe to my channel and click the bell so that you'll be notified when I upload my videos and uh, share the love. All right. Thanks again, everyone. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you hopefully in the next week. Bye now.